of the February 25th presidential and national assembly election is still fresh in the memory of many Nigerians. It was an election that most Nigerian youth participated, a departure from previous exercises in Enugu, Southeast Nigeria. Major political stakeholders are not taking anything to chance to ensure right persons are elected into respective offices. Former Governor of Old Anambra State, Jim Wobodo, says he has done survey on candidates of different political parties. He says that the candidate of the PDP, Peter Mba, stands tall based on capacity, competence and character to deliver the desired Greater Enugu State. Who among the candidates has a message that addresses the problems of the youths and the people in Enugu State? A man whose manifesto resonates the people across agenda, age, and tribe. Peter Mba is that man, going by my knowledge of who he is. The Octo General hinted that Peter Mba manifesto shows deeper understanding of the problem of Enugu State, not rhetoric, but a working document with plans of action and timeline for delivery. The former governor, who had key stakeholders in Enugu politics, present at the news conference, want the people to go out en masse and vote for PDP candidate on March 18 governorship and House of Assembly election. To reject calls to violence and go to your restart polling unit on Saturday, March 18, to vote for Peter Mba, the man who will bring back Enugu to the status of the capital of old Eastern region and the capital of Southeast. I give you my word, Peter Mba will not disappoint the people of Enugu State. The other statesman appealed to the youth to reject calls for sentimental and clannish voting that will keep the state in standard development. Among the four contestants in the Enugu governorship contest, Peter Mba seems to be enjoying greater support from the incumbent and former governors of Enugu State.